OpenAI has finally revealed Dolly 3 via API, which means now we can use it with API and build our application or integrate it with our existing application. And I'm so excited to tell you about this. And now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Dolly 3 API. Many users might get errors while using their traditional client like using OpenAI client to generate image. So I'm going to show you a way how you can call dal e3 api and generate images and start building around it so let's get into it guys so if you go to their documentation which is on this url i will share it in the description below here on the left side i can see image generation if i scroll down here i can see this is a piece of code and if i use this piece of code i might get an error and i'm going to show you okay this is the piece of code i took from their documentation so if i run this piece of code as you can see, I'm getting this error. Maybe it's something with my version of OpenAI client or so. But anyway, we will skip this and not get this error at all. So if I go back here and select curl and I will copy this command. This is how you can call this API using curl command. And if I go to chat GPT and say, hey, write a Python code for me according to above curl command. Here it is. So this is the piece of code. I will copy this and go back to my VS code. I will paste it here as it is. Here I will say os.getenv openai api key import os. Okay. So now we are ready to go. It will read openai api key from my environment variable. And if I run this piece of code, now it should generate an image for me. It is going to take some time, of course. So these are all the parameters, model, prompt, and so here it is. This is the image that was generated for us. If I go to this URL, I should see the image that was generated. Oh my goodness. As you can see, uh, we have finally got this image over here. So guys, this is how you can use DALI 3 API. And let me know in the comment section below how you are going to use DALI 3 in your application or use cases. I think it's going to be very interesting. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It helps us a lot. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye.